Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic plant parrot day. Now today I'm going to be potting up, potting up, repotting my aloe vera garter, commonly known as the partridge plant. And this is one of uh, one of the pups from my main big mother plant that. Um, Sadly, my big main, main mother plant uh, got rot a few years ago after having it for about 25 years. And I made a video at the time and I separated the pups and very happy to say that they all rooted. And this is one of them here. Flowered last year with a beautiful flower. And uh, it's time now to pot this on. So I've got the next size pot here. And I'm going to talk about the soil mix in a minute. And before I go any further, I've made many videos on aloes. On, including how to care for aloe, how to grow aloe from seed, how to uh, prune the dead leaves off aloes and things like aloe black spot and oh, many many different videos on aloe so too many to mention here but what I will do is I'll link all them videos in the video description above and I'll also put down below a list of aloe care videos if you want to know a bit more about caring for aloes and there's many many different types it's a huge uh, rather vast genus but in this video it's just going to be a bit of a video vlog about repotting and my aloe vera garter and I so say this lovely aloe is one of the hence the name vera garter lovely variegated form lovely patterning which is why it's called the the partridge plant absolutely beautiful and the soil mix I've made up here I've made a, a well draining soil mix which is essential for succulent plants such as aloes because it can be very rot prone if they're in just normal sort of house plant soil that stays wet for too long in between waterings now here I've made a mix of loam soil l-o-a-m in this case I've used a John Innes number two and I've mixed in extra sharp horticultural sand with some pumice and also a bit of lava rock as well and I've used probably about the, the loam probably about 60% and then I've used about 20% pumice another 10% lava rock and about 10% sand giving it a really good mix around a bit of a different mix to what I'd use for it depends on, on what type of succulent or what cactus I'm potting up. I change the mix depending on their needs. But if you want to know an all-round general, if you're not sure, just a good old all-purpose mix. For the majority of cacti and succulents, then do check out a video I've made on how to make cactus and succulent soil in three easy steps. Links to that video will also be up above and also down below in the video description as well. But as I say, as long as the soil is well draining, that's the most important. And I put a bit of soil in the pot here, clean pot. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking it out of the pot and I'm going to be checking over the root system as well because when you repot plants, bugs like to lurk underneath the soil, especially things like root mealybugs and vine weevils and other type of, of root pests. So I wasn't want to check the, the root system and as long as it's all okay, then I'm going to pot it up. So here we go again, guys. Let's get repotting. Take the label out and you'll always know for example look at that the uh, the roots are all coming through the pot there so that's how I know it's in dire need of a repot so gently squeeze the pot here just to loosen it up and put it on its side I'll just move the this stand a little bit further back so you can get to see a bit more what I'm doing here and move that up Obviously, I've got roots that are sort of trapped in the bottom. Ah, oh, that's come out very easy there, so no problem there. And as I always mention in all my videos when I'm repotting, you want to check over the root system. Check there's no mealybugs and vine weevils and that. Looks very good here. I'm just going to loosen up the soil a little bit here. This is all, by the way, pumice. So it's not root mealybug because it can look quite similar, but this is pumice. You know the difference when you go to, to squeeze it because it's it's white and um, also perlite can look very similar but with root mini bugs you squeeze them and it gives off a little juice sounds disgusting but and this is quite fairly loose if this was very very compacted here I'd have to do a lot more loosening up but the less I like to the less I, I'd like to disturb the roots as less as, as less as possible so just want to loosen it up a little bit so it can take to the new soil I used a very gritty soil. I use a different soil mix with this than what I'm using now because this was a cutting from it was a pup from the main mother plant. So I used, a, as you can see, very very gritty soil there. A lot more lava rock and pumice than I am now because I'm potting this on, and I know that this would do. It would be it would do fine in a bit more of a, a bit more of a soily soil. 
but it's great for rooting when I try to root the cutting from this so give it a bit of a shaky 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 that's enough great root system as you can see there absolutely brilliant so here we go pop that in there I need to put a little bit more soil in got to put too much at the bottom because you don't want it to have to sit in too much soil there we go and then soil all around the sides and what I do and I do this I mention this a lot when I repot cacti and succulents I always prefer to do it either in the spring summer or the autumn it really is better to do it I find when the plant is sort of in its active growing season with aloes I have a lot of my aloes that want to grow during the winter some of them sort of prefer to be dormant during the midsummer it really just depends so one size doesn't always fit all but I always like prefer to repot in the growing seasons and I also when I do repot a succulent or cactus I always leave it dry for about a week or two about 10 days before I start to introduce water again and the reason for that is because when you do repot a cactus and succulent you do disturb the roots and I find that if you can wa if you water straight away it can sometimes cause root rot especially with aloes because they've got very fleshy roots so you want to be careful so it's not going to hurt it's a succulent so it's not going to hurt to not have any water for a week or two but it does help to let the, the plant acclimatise into its new pot and soil. So gently pressing down there. Easy peasy. And that's it. Gently tap the pot just to make sure the soil has all gone down the sides. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to damage any roots. But you want to make sure that the plant is firmly tucked in. Happy days there. And what I'm going to do here, normally I'd put a bit of put me saw uh, the type of top dressing because this is very very gritty that I had the soil that was left behind here perfectly good soil it's, it's the majority of it is just lava rock and pumice so I'm going to use this as top dressing so I'm going to reuse it again because it's perfectly great to use to reuse as a top dressing as long as the soil as long as the plant hasn't got bugs or anything like that in the roots then you can reuse this again so this is going to be great as the bit of top dressing here happy days as I say guys I've made so many videos on aloes and caring for them and all different things so do check out them links down below in my video description ha <laughs> ha little label on aloe vera garter and I put my old plant because this is the pup from my very old aloe vera garter and I'll also link the video when I had to make an emergency pruning on my old aloe vera and it rotted after many years. So here we go then guys. Just take the camera off the stand here so I can show you a bit more detail. All potted up and as I say I'm going to keep this dry now for about 10 days before I give a bit of water. And uh, happy days. It's going to love its new pot and I'm so happy that I managed to root it from the, the pup cutting. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents, please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips on how to care for and grow cacti and succulents, as well as regular blogs and individual plants, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of funky cactus and succulent power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.